Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome. I'm Sim UK. This is of course Ride 4 and what I want to do today is just share with you my gameplay experience. You can see I'm starting literally from an absolute rookie here. I have completed the uh, the initial uh, Suzuka circuit route that you have to do. You have no choice but to do that. So I've completed that using an Xbox 360 controller but from this point on the idea is that we're going to be playing a career mode using the uh, HS3 Pro HE version. We're going to be doing it in the Asian League. and we'll, we'll try and work our way through the regional world leagues as well. So we're going to start off with the Asian uh, regional license. Now, uh, I'm just going to quickly show you here me setting up my HS3 Pro HE. Fantastic bit of kit. The only fully functioning motorcycle controller for the PC and I've got to tell you the uh, the hydraulic brakes that they've added to this system are just sublime I love them I really do but let's focus on uh, ride 4 as much as we can today so we're going to be doing Sukuba Sukuba circuit I don't know any of these circuits particularly well and I've only just repaired my HS3 I had a, a cable that got broken unfortunately uh, so I've just repaired it. So I haven't raced. These, these are my excuses. I'll get them in early. I haven't raced for about a month at least. And prior to that, I hadn't raced for about six months. So A, I'm not familiar with the circuit. B, I'm not familiar with the system. But Sim UK Ultimate Realism, of course, of course, we're going for simulated realistic physics and everything on the most difficult settings. So 38.80 for 20 points, this is our target. All I'm going to really do to start with, because I'm still trying to get used to the bike, is just, well, not just the bike, but also the controller and the game and everything. There's a lot that I've got to get my head around. I'm just going to try and get around the track and uh, keep it smooth and um, just complete each of the necessary missions. I really want to get into racing against other bikes. But um, I think there's going to be a bit of a delay before we get to that point, which is a bit frustrating. I've noticed as well, I'm not going to show you every attempt that I had at every single event. Because um, what I found, especially on some of the tracks, that was a nice easy one on that uh, R3. No problems at all. I think I, I think I completed that on my second attempt or my third attempt. But what I find uh, with this game is that it's really sensitive. If you touch any of the curbs, you can e immediately be disqualified uh, from your race attempts, which is really qu quite annoying. Other curbs, no issue at all. And on some of the test, like the test tracks uh, or the track test events, I find these really frustrating. These are the ones where you've got to go through the gates. And if you touch the gates in any way, shape or form, uh, you lose like half a second. They're really quite tough. Target 109. Okay, let's see if we can do this. That's the autopilot there. Hitting. He hit two of those poles. I'm absolutely sure of it. I think when we come back round again, you can see one of them is on the floor before I even get there. Ooh, yeah, not bad, not bad pretty clean pr pretty smooth we've got to get the speed up it's 115 we've just done it oh too tight on that apex just clipped our first one that's a half a second penalty too slow through there really Got to get the speed up. Now there's a section on the, uh, before the start finish straight, that I just cannot get up to speed. Now here you can see 85 kilometers per hour and I've got to get to 140 kilometers per hour. And I'm just nowhere near it and I've never been anywhere near it. Go on, ah, see, two kilometers off it again. I just cannot seem to get that one right. Coming through for the final. Oh, and we hit that one. That's two-second penalty. 
And that R3 just feels so slow in comparison to the other bikes I've been racing in this game. I'll show you the replay, guys. Talk about the game a little bit. Some of the things I like and some of the things I dislike. Obviously, trying to set up the HS3 Pro. Um, this game is designed for Xbox 360 controllers. And the way that it's set up is that it has a predefined dead zone in the middle, which basically means you can wiggle your thumbstick a little bit and it won't affect the bike at all. Now, because I have an HS3, I don't want that at all. So I have to use a, a third party software system called X360. And uh, that allows me to put an anti dead zone in, which basically allows me to cut a section of the axis out. It's quite clever, really. Um, but getting it right takes a long time. If you get it wrong, you're going to have incredibly aggressive, sharp movements. If you, if you, if you put too much on, you're going to have aggressive, sharp movements. If you don't put enough on, you're still going to have a dead zone. So there's, it's quite a finickety little process that I have to go through. And until I get it right, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be able to get that the small adjustments right on the bike, like you see there, I hit that pole. Maybe I could have adjusted around that, but but who knows. I also think the, uh, the replay cameras are pretty awful. 90% of the time, the bike's not even in shot, which is a bit weird. What do we get? 114.9. So yeah, two seconds off that would have been 113.09. So we didn't even do enough to get silver, but I'm going to press on, like I say, because I'm partly learning how to use the system as well as learn how the game handles. So we've got a time attack. Uh, if I can get on it, we've got a time attack on the GP circuit. Now, like I said, I don't know this circuit at all well, so um, it's going to be tricky, really tricky for me. Okuyama International Circuit. Let's do this. 59.3 is the target. 102.9. Um, now the bike setup system is is quite basic. It's it's not very advanced. You can of course upgrade your components, and that gives you more control over the gears and stuff. But um, I don't know. It it seems to me like it resets everything to default every time you restart the game or progress to another challenge which I find quite frustrating this is a different bike admittedly but we'll see how we get on here that rear, that rear brake is <laughs> it's aggressive uh, it's either on or it's off and it's um, yeah I'm also having a slight bug I mean there's quite a few bugs you hear the audio bug in the background. If I shut up for a second, listen to the audio. I didn't mean to drop down to that gear. That was an accident. But if you listen to the audio in the background, it sounds like I'm, I'm riding through gravel. I think it's stopped now. To make it stop, you just need to go off the track for a second and it resets itself. So I'm, it's, a, it's a weird bug, but it happens quite a lot. Another bug that I seem to get with this game at the moment is that the rear brake uh, locks itself on and I have to depress the rear brake in order to release it. That, uh, that normally happens at the start of a challenge. Suzuki RG500 1987. What a beautiful bike. What a lovely bike. I like that. 102.699 just about got through. That's good enough for me. We'll do the replay. Discuss all my faux pas. Now, one of the things, if you, you can see how close the, the AI bike is to the line there. If I ride that close to the line, it disqualifies me from the challenge. I think, uh, I think it's just too aggressive, to be honest with you. In time, hopefully I'll get precise enough on the bike to be able to do this kind of thing. But to start people off, Forcing them to be this precise, I find rather odd. At least me, at least allow me to race around the track a few times to get used to it before you start demanding that I take uh, I take 
corners at specific speeds and on specific lines. You can see my line there, not good at all. That's a very tight apex. It's a little better. Onto the curb there. It's also very difficult to drop the bike, I've discovered. Uh, you have to be really quite bad to, uh, to screw it up and drop the bike. So there we go. That's a nice little bike. I enjoyed riding that. That was good. 102.699. Job done. Rank up to level 5. Not quite. Nearly. Nearly. Okay, what have we got next? And we've got three things left to do. Obviously, you have to do them in order. So we've got the GP Circuit Track Day. Now, this is where we chase down the other bikes. I quite like this one. It's the closest I've come to actually racing anyone. I still haven't raced anybody, and that's a little frustrating as well. So what's the target here? 11, 8, or 6 passes. 6 minimum. See if we can get 8. 8 would be nice. If I can get this guy before the first corner, it would be good. Not quite. Definitely mine for the taking. And I can see the next target already. That's one. Whoa. Pay attention to the uh, track and not to the time in the top right-hand corner. I noticed I got an extra four seconds there by passing somebody. That's interesting. See if it does it again on the next guy here. Should catch him up before the end of this straight. I'm loath to go too close to the edge in case I get disqualified. Yep, that's another four seconds. Okay, cool. A little bit wide there. And a little bit slow overall. So it looks like we got two, maybe three guys ahead of us here. We could be up to five pretty quick. Far too, far too heavy on the power there. The rear end slipped out and dragged me over towards the grass. Okay, double overtake coming up, guys. Nice and clean and smooth on the start-finish straight. There we go, that's three, that's four, that's eight seconds we've just added to our time. Mohammed, nah, sorry, couldn't read and ride at the same time. Thank you for the sub. Nicely done underneath. Nice and clean. That's five. We need this one more guy to uh, complete. And I can see a um, number seven in front of him as well. 24 seconds left. Under the pressure now. But we're on the start-finish straight. We could get eight here if we push hard enough. 19 seconds. I can't see the next guy. Oh, there he is. There he is. Right in front of us. 18 seconds. Oh, that was ugly. And that's a terrible line. And I think I've screwed it up. I've totally lost it now. That's it. Seven in the bag. We really could have had eight there. The slipstream's a bit aggressive, isn't it? Did you notice when I came up behind that uh, seventh guy, it kind of... Um the acceleration I got off of his uh, slipstream was pretty intense. So we got seven. We could have had eight. I dare say if I had another go at it, I might get eight. Le eleven seems a bit... <laughs> wow. I mean, if you can get eleven straight off the bat, fair play to you. So 
So like I said in the replay, I don't understand the camera system that they've implemented. There's a lot of, there's, there's a lot in my opinion of the cameraman pointing at the sky. That's a nice clean overtake there. Corner not quite so clean. There's a few messy corners in this uh, run, I know. And I'll, I'll be honest, whilst it's cool that we get a few different bikes to try out during this uh, during this event, it, it doesn't really help too much with the getting used to the bike that you're using. If we just stuck with one bike, I think that would help a lot more. But that's me. I've got a few things I'm trying to uh, get back into the rhythm of riding. I love the uh, smoke plumes, I don't love that corner so much. Do the AI have smoke plumes as well? I can't see. Sliding the rear tyre out there. We have got tyre damage in ride 4. So I'm going to have to be more wary of that in the future. Onto the grass there. A blessing in disguise again. A bit too early on the power, a bit too heavy on the power. But even though I'm on maximum, maximum simulation, um, I'm finding it really quite difficult to drop the bike. I have to, I have to do something really silly in order to drop the bike. It does happen. That was not the best corner in the world. Nice overtake here though. Up on the inside, there we go. Bit of slipstream, power through, nice and clean. I like, I like the, uh, I like the the, uh, the corners there, the collection of corners there. They're quite fun, quite enjoyable. So that's it. That's number six, I think, and number seven is in our sights now. That's number seven. So number eight, I think possibly I could have got hold of. You see the, uh, I put the rear brake on there because that extra injection of speed that I got off of his um, slipstream frightened me a little bit. I wasn't expecting it, if I'm being honest. It's quite aggressive. Um, so I put the old rear brake on just to help slow the bike down a bit. And uh, you can't help but get a little bit sideways when you do it. Whether that will change in time, I don't know. Be nice to have an analog input for that, but uh, the majority of people don't have uh, an HS3 to enjoy the experience. Right, Suzuka circuit, GP circuit track test. This could be tricky. 44.5, 46 or 49. To be honest with you, Yamaha YZF R6. I, to be honest with you, I'd just be happy to complete it just to get through. I'm not a big fan of these gates, especially the sensitivity of the track when you're doing them. That's my biggest, that's my biggest frustration with this game at the moment. Okay, straight on the power. Whoa, that's a good start. And off onto the grass. Genius. What a genius. All right, let's at least, uh, Let's at least progress a little. Oh my god, I missed that one as well. Surprisingly, oh, perhaps, perhaps I'm wrong. Actually, this isn't the one that. Uh, disqualifies you if you come off the track. That must be one of the other ones. So this one is all about getting the right speed and the right line, I guess. I kind of like the concept of it because it will teach you the track and I don't know this track particularly well. Five second penalty there. Yeah, not surprised that I failed, to be honest with you. All right, let's have another go at that. Let's do this properly. Let's get it nice and clean this time. 44, 5. 49 at least, minimum 49.
Better start, nice line. A little bit wide there. Oh, yeah, I'm fighting myself now. Just about made that gate. That's a better line. Yes, that's a good line. Okay. Tricky corner this. It's the small, subtle adjustments that I'm struggling with at the moment. The big corners and the hairpins, that's they're fine. I can deal with that's quite a nice finish there. 2.2 second penalty though. 48 seconds something. I'm not sure if that's going to be it then, because that would be 50 seconds, wouldn't it? Oh, we did it. 48.028. Oh, they must have already added the two. So we nearly got silver there. We were very close to silver. I think if I had a couple more goes at that, I could pro I definitely think I could get silver. I could probably get gold. But uh, yeah, we started off quite nicely. Little bit wide there, and that kind of put me wide on the next corner as well. And then I hit that pillar there. I didn't even realise I'd hit that, to be honest. That explains where the penalty points came from. That was better. But I find this corner really tricky because it requires a few fine adjustments to stay in the, on the right line. And I, I haven't got the dead zone quite right yet, so it's a, it's a work in progress. Reasonably decent finish. That's good enough for me. That's enough of a ticket to get through to the next event. The last event, I think. This is the final event. So what's the cameraman doing? Look at this. <laughs> it's not even following the bike. That one's fine. Well, it was. See, what's he doing there? Why is he filming the grass? Where's he going now? Why is, why is he filming the sky? Oh, that's terrible. Look how bad that one was. I hope they do something with these replay cameras. Just awful. Wait, I mean, look at this one. This is the worst one yet. Goodness me. All right. So we did enough, we got uh, another bronze. I'll come back another time, later on when I've got used to the bikes and the tracks and the game and the uh, controller, then we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll get gold on all of these. So this should be the last one today. Suzuka GP circuit, time trial. 2.15, 2.23.4 minimum. 223.4. Let's do it. <laughs> There's a chicane there. I've just learnt. Let me try that again. That I, I didn't even see it, I'll be honest with you. I did not see it. I don't have the map on, by the way. So it's, it's pretty tricky for me. I think these autopilot introductions are a bit too long as well. And I'd much prefer a countdown than this blue bar thing, but hey. I think these are the ones that are really sensitive about touching the curbs and stuff. If you go, if you touch the wrong curb in the wrong way, that's it, you're banned from the lap. Probably should have gone up an extra gear there. Okay, I remember this bit. This is the bit that we were just doing in the last test so I should be reasonably good at this 
Pretty smooth lines, could have been faster. And it cuts in here, yeah, nice, good spot. This is the fast bit, or it is from about here on in. Go, 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 flat out. Tricky left-hand corner, I always end up on the grass. I've got to be careful, careful. It's been extra careful there. Down to third gear, staying on the track. Down to second. Power through. Surprised I didn't get banned there. That was a bad line, got pretty lucky. Good recovery. That's a fairly smooth run there. This is the corner I'm least confident with. I feel like I can take it flat out, but equally I feel like I lose, I've lost control of the bike. I'm being too cautious here, I think. 1 minute 35, oh god, all over the track as well. Okay, power through. So this is where the AI normally rides, so I know to drop down to fourth gear as I come up to the last corner, and then it should be Chicane and Home Straight. Fourth gear, keep the power on. That was not particularly good. Two minutes, three. It's going to be tight. It's going to be really tight. Oh, I nearly went... Nearly went too close. Nearly invalidated that lap there. 219, 220. Test passed. Nice. I don't know what time we got there. 220 something. Two twenty two point five two. Close. Close. Definitely time to be picked up there. Let's have a look at my my run. Let's analyse my performance. I don't know about you, but in the replay, the the tyres look like they're going to come off sometimes. There she came. That's pretty smooth. I like that. That was nice. Good power out. Good acceleration. Two hundred K down through the gears, down to second. This tight corner, and then we're into the uh, I don't know what you call them. The weaves. Let's call them the weaves. They're nice actually to ride on. When you get them right, they feel fantastic. And that wasn't a terrible example. I'm reasonably happy with that. For my first day of racing, I've only had one one day on this game. Thank you, buddy. I were were I were the the Emma? I don't know how to say that, but thank you for the sub, buddy. That was a nice one. I like that corner. That one, not so much. <laughs> Hesitant and nervous on it. Right, this is it. This is the final stretch. Fourth gear. Power on. Line up for the chicane. Hard on the brakes.
Yeah, I've got to say I enjoyed that one, guys. It took me quite a while to get to that point where I could actually get around and complete it. Quite a few uh, issues with going off the track and touching the curbs and stuff. But we got there in the end. I'm not sure making a sit and wait for that to count up is really necessary. I'd much rather just have it come straight in with my results. New groups unlocked. You have gained access to two new groups. And we're up to level 6. And we've got uh, 83,000 in credits. So we'll probably use that to customise a few things here and there. Yamaha TZR250R from 1994. That's our reward bike. Very nice, and we got uh, 78 points, which is good. So we've unlocked the two-stroke Rookie Cup and then Classic Naked Trophy, which is cool. Three events on each, 250cc and 1000cc on the Nakeds. And the Asia Motorfest 600, 600cc Sports. Again, three events, 75 points. Hopefully these will be races. That would be nice to see. So I'll try and put together some more gameplay footage. And, uh, well, I just hope to improve a little bit with each race and each um, event. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And please join me again for another one. Until then, take care of yourselves and goodbye for now.